welcome back to The Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. Hope you're all well. Back today to talk about the Las Vegas Convention Centre loop again. A lot of negative uh, comments, uh, a lot of FUD, uh, just a lot of bad intentions on the internet at the moment. And I just thought I'd come back to this particular topic. I know I've talked about it in the past. That is the stagnation fallacy. When you look at something and you say, you know what, it's never going to get any better. Or if it's going to get better, it's going to take so, so long, no one will ever notice. And the fact is, the Las Vegas Convention Center is the perfect example of when something starts off at a reasonably high level and then goes on to stratospheric uh, levels of performance. So, whether it be... Um, the Falcon 9 rocket, or the Tesla Model 3, or full self-driving. Everything starts off at a reasonably low level and then works its way up. Uh, so performance improvements are always um, going to happen when you have a good team running a project. And that is exactly the case with the Las Vegas Convention Center. And I'm just going to explain to you why things are going to get much, much better. At the moment, we're sort of limited to around 30,000 passengers per day in and around that kind of ballpark at the Las Vegas Convention Center loop. But that's going to massively increase over the next sort of 18 months to two years. So I've put these in order of kind of probability of what I think is going to happen um, first or even happen uh, whatsoever because potentially one or two of these might never happen but I'm guaranteeing you that at least three will so the first one that is definitely going to happen is, is drivers are going to be eliminated we're going to see full self-driving implemented they're going to start running tests of that this year once that's implemented that means the driver goes away you have an extra seat in the vehicle it also improves kind of the the operational efficiency of how that vehicle operates and eliminates the possibility of any kind of accident. Um, we find algorithms for how the loop vehicles operate. At the moment, we have this kind of issue where vehicles are going into parking bays, vehicles are coming out of parking bays, both drivers are kind of hesitating. They, they don't want to get too close to each other in case there's an accident. Because even if they have a slight bump, they then have to take those vehicles out of the system. And, and it just causes a lot of aggravation. So everyone is super, super cautious. That causes delays. I think in, in future kind of iterations of, uh, of the software, we're going to see vehicles uh, that, that enter the, the, the stations giving way. 99.99% of the time to vehicles that are leaving the parking bays and thus that will massively improve performance of this particular um, system. One of the things I keep banging on about is the robo van. I like that term. I like the idea of having a specific vehicle that works very, very well within the Boeing Company loop system. It has much more seats, higher capacity. You can run the system with less vehicles but at higher speeds. There's a lot of reasons why that improves the performance of the system. So I expect the Robovan to be at least announced uh, in Q4 of this year or Q1 of next year. I know I keep pushing this, this backwards, but the fact is we've, we've just been in a global pandemic. You know, it's difficult to make predictions when thousands of people are dying every day and the economies are closed down. So with a 12-seat vehicle over the four-seat um, kind of Tesla Model 3, you're looking at a 300% performance um, improvement. In fact, that's with a three-seat vehicle with a driver. So compared to how things are now, it's an extra 300% on top of that. Um, sort of 200% if you've got a vehicle that is full self-driving, which is absolutely definitely coming. Anyone telling you, online that it's not coming you know they've got their head stuck in the sand that then they just can't see it they they, they they can't see it um next one reduce journey times uh, as this system continues to prove that it is safe zero accidents zero incidents zero fires um you're going to see the speed limit increased. It's going to be gradual over time. Regulators are very, very nervous, very, very nervous about this. If they make a mistake, they get blamed. So ultimately, they're only going to increase the speed of the system extremely gradually as they have data proving that it is safe. 
at the moment at 40 miles per hour. I anticipate that will get, then go up to about 45 miles per hour, uh, some way sort of halfway through this year. Then maybe at the, the beginning of uh, next year, we'll see 50 miles per hour possibly for the start of CES, and then we'll go up to 55 miles per hour. I don't anticipate going above that. Maybe, maybe might go to 60 miles per hour in the long, long term. But I, I think for a system that is that small and that kind of constrained in terms of you've only got three stations, 55 miles per hour is kind of perfect. That will obviously reduce journey times, increase performance of the system. Uh, again, another factor. All these things add up, compound each other, make things very, very uh, efficient. Okay, so we've got additional uh, loop stations. So, at the um, station number three, we have a large parking lot, the Platinum lot. At some point in time, the Las Vegas Convention Center, which is constantly looking to, to grow and improve and provide more space for its conferences, is gonna build on that site. I predict it will happen in the next five years, maybe slightly more. But the Platinum Lot is an absolutely ginormous piece of land. I anticipate they will build a new station there, potentially adding an additional stop or replacing Station 3 altogether. That will have potentially 18 bays there. It'll be underground. Uh, and that, again, will increase capacity and reduce the possibility of having bottlenecks, you know, 18-second waits at the entrances to various stations. Expansion of existing stations. I think there's, there's, there's great potential for expanding station uh, one, potentially again going into the platinum lot there, or just expanding it in its, its existing um, location. Although I would favor going into the platinum lot and expanding it to 18 bays. The other station, station number three, can absolutely definitely go up to 18 bays, potentially even 20 bays with an investment of less than $1 million. And I think that will happen, hopefully, um, in the next sort of three to five years. Uh, again, that offers more space for vehicles, offers vehicles more time to kind of load uh, load up. Um, also offers potential charging base for vehicles as well in between shifts. So all these things here add up to a much better system. Potentially, if you do the first three, you're talking about well over 5,000 uh, passengers per hour. If you then also do the next five, um, you're looking at maybe five, 500, five, 800 per hour. If you then extend both station one and you have a new station again, station three with 18 bays, you're potentially looking at over 6,000 per hour. That is massively more than what we have now. There is no kind of, um, limit to how this system could be expanded it potentially even could be connected to the new system although i anticipate that won't happen so i'm not included that today but there are many 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 ways that are quite simple to do and low cost that can be done to improve the efficiency and throughput of this system they will happen i hope they do happen fairly soon because that is sure to shut up a lot of the uh the haters of this system because there's a lot of people hating on this system uh, I, I really want to see them shut up. Uh, unfortunately, they're just going to use this year to, to kind of hate on the, the, the Boeing company because they've lost all the money shorting Tesla. But hey, you know, if you've bought Tesla shares over the last three or four years, you know, you've made bank. I certainly have. Very, very happy. You, you've got to understand that some people are going to get a little bit salty about that. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, hopefully see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe. Thanks to all my Patreons. Remember, guys, don't be boring. I will see you on the next one. Take care now. Thank you. Goodbye. You strike no fear.